What is going on everyone? It is JiggerGG and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are actually starting a new series and I'm sure most of you guys know I've been uploading Skyblock and PvPing MC and we are on the 10th episode and we're really OP, we got a bunch of spawners and I'm still going to be playing there. Um, I'm just not going to be recording there because my friend plays there, Machete Man plays there, so I'm probably going to play there a little bit. I'm just not going to be recording and I probably won't be playing as much. But today... Well, this guy has a Pokeball. Oh, is that like a head or something? Because it looks like really big. But uh, today, we are going to be starting off our series on the Creatures server here in PvP MC. And you can already probably tell the theme of this is definitely Pokemon. So, you know, being with like Pokemon Go being really popular right now, and that's like the trending thing, um, this is going to be a new server I'm recording on, and PvP MC uh, added it today. And it's going to be out in beta access mode for a week so if you want to get beta access it's ten dollars on the server store and then you get to play for a week before all the other players and then next saturday i'm recording this on saturday but next saturday you will be able to come join even if you don't have a beta access thing so yeah we're going to be playing this uh instead of the uh the skyblock like i said and uh so basically this is really similar to how skyblock was working except i I, I don't really know how the Pokemon part of it works yet. There's a bunch of gems here, um, one through n one through ten, and there's a Master Ball in the middle here. But I don't really know how you fight the gems because uh, in Pokemon Go, when you fight the gems, you're fighting other players, but they're not like actively there fighting you. They're like Pokemon that were just placed there. And I haven't played like Pokemon on the the DS in forever. Like when I got Pokemon Go. I, like, almost all of my Pokemon knowledge had, had been gone, because I, it's, like, the last time I played Pokemon on the DS was, I was probably, like, 8 or 9 or something, and I'm 16 now, so it's been a long time since I've played legitimate Pokemon, but I have been playing Pokemon Go, so, you know, I do know a little bit. Now, this is here, this here is where the PvP zone is, so, you can come here in PvP and there's Envoys, just like there is on a regular Skyblock, and, uh, yeah, so like I've, like I've said, I'm gonna have to get used to this. I don't really know how the Pokemon part works, but we're gonna be, get it, be beginning our island right now, and we're gonna open up a few keys just to see, like, the kind of stuff you can get. But anyways, when you first join the server, you are given three starter Pokemon choices. Um, you can either pick the Squid, which is obviously Water-type, you can pick the Blaze, which is, um, Fire-type, and then there's one other one that should be Grass-type, I guess, but I don't remember which one it was, because... Right when you join the server, it asks you for it. Um, if it was like a command, I would have waited till I was recording, but literally I logged on, it popped up, so I had to pick something, and I couldn't record. So, um, And also, there's actually a 50% off sale on all the ranks. Now, um, I didn't look at anything else, but I know the ranks on here are 50% off. I, the beta pass isn't, but the ranks are, so if you guys want to check it out, you can. Um, but yeah, we can open up a few crate keys, and then we're going to start our island. We have, uh, so basically the crate keys are Pokemon themed. So we have the Pokeball, the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball, and the Master Ball. And you guys probably know if you play Pokemon Go, Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball are like the three Pokeballs. And there's also, uh, Master Balls, which haven't been added to Pokemon Go, but, uh, I think they are supposed to. I don't really know. But we're going to open up, like, three of each of these, I think. Um, so you get to, oh, this one you get to select two slots. So this one's, they're very similar to what it's like on, uh, the regular Skyblock. But let's see what we can get. Um, alright, the redstone torches are trails, so I don't know how I exactly, okay, so it says Jager1311 has just won the heart trail, so do I have to do slash trails? No, slash trail, I don't know, but usually, let's see if it, if I put my particles on, I think it's like the thing that will go behind you when you're walking or flying, but I don't see it, so I don't know how you activate that, we'll have to figure it out, um, well, we can look at this, so yeah, it, it doesn't say how to access it, but you... You can get all these trails, you can get uh, ranks, which the ranks here, I'll show you the ranks, the, rank, uh, the, the names are pretty cool. So you've got a Squirtle rank, then Meowth rank, then Pikachu, then Snorlax, and Lugia, Lugia or Lugia, I don't really know how to say that name. But um, yeah, we're going to open up two more of these Ultra Ball ones, two slots, let's hopefully get something really awesome. If I get a rank, oh, what was that? Oh, Perk Ender Chest Command, that would have been pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was going to say, if I get a rank... Uh, I don't even know. I might give it away. I'm already doing that rank giveaway on um, on the other Skyblock. Oh, that's what I meant to do. I meant to pick the winner for that. Okay, so if you're watching this video and you wanted, you wanted to know the winner of the rank on Skyblock, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it at the end of the video. So if you are watching this right now, just if you want to just see the rank winner, just skip to the end or you can watch the whole video. But 
Yeah, anyways, I got, a, I got a set of Snorlax gear, which is the second highest rank, and then uh, 10 hoppers, so n nothing too good. I'm actually going to use all this XP just in case I need it, because on uh, Skyblock, I usually don't even bother, because getting this much XP is like killing one stack of creepers. You probably, like, not even. You, you just kill, like, a couple creepers, and you get this much, but... Um, yeah, what was I saying? So about the giveaway, if you guys want to know the winner, just skip to the end. I'll probably also put the winner in the description below, just so if you want to if you want to look at it quickly, I'll put the winner down there. But, yeah, this is this is really annoying. Do I have PVs? Okay, I do have PVs. Let's just put away all this stuff, so I'll have room for other stuff that I might get. And then, I think I'll, does this, I don't remember if that was from the Snorlax kit. I think I got, like, a starter kit, too. Yeah, the trainer. So... Alright, let's open up one more of these Ultra Balls. Let's go, let's just go with the first two. So we're going to have no clue what's coming. It's just going to come out of nowhere. Um, let's see, what is this? Uh, oh, that's 50k. Kit Lugia. So that's the top rank, or Lugia. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, so I won the green trail. Now, I don't know how to access the trails. Um, trail, trails, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how you access the trails, but here we go. We'll go into the Master Balls. Now, out of these, you can get Bedrock. You can get a bunch more trails, so probably some rarer trails. You can get uh, Squirtle and Meowth rank. You can get uh, Fly Command, No Hunger Loss, and Chest Command. Um, and then all the types of spawners and money and a uh, bunch of kits. So hopefully we'll get something cool like a rank or a perk or something. That would be pretty cool. Um, that guy just bought a couple keys. All right. Oh, you get to, oh three slots, man. I don't remember it being three on uh, on Skyblock. That's pretty cool, actually. So let's see what we can get. Hopefully, we'll we'll hope for like a rare pain. Nah, it doesn't look like it. We got two trails and a kit, dude. I want to figure out like how you use these trails because I'm getting a ton of them. So yeah, let's let's open up two more of these Master Ball ones. Uh, let's just go. Oh no, not. Oh, I already I already selected it. I don't. I can't unselect it. I was gonna do the two sides in the middle, but whatever. Maybe we'll get something really good out of this one. That'd be pretty cool. Someone just bought a beta pass, so another new player. I got 6 god apples, 30k, and another 12 god apples, so that's not bad. I got a bunch of god apples. I'm um, not sure how rare they are in here, but I think on Skyblock they are pretty good. You needed them for PvP. Alright, last last uh, Master Ball crate key. Oh, we were one, I think we were one off of a spawner. So we got another trail, we got a 10k note, and we got some. I think we got some more god apples. Yeah, so as you can see, that guy chose Blaze for his beginner Pokemon. Um, too bad I didn't choose the other one that I didn't know about, and we could have figured it out. But now we are going to make our island. So we do slash is, and we get to create an island. Now, there's all these types of islands, and... Oh, we might have to pick the Pokemon Center. Now, last time on the regular Skyblock, I picked the Spongebob's Pineapple, but we're going to do something different. Oh, we can do Squidward and Patrick's Rocks. Oh, oh, dude, that's a tough decision. The Flash, Pirate Island, Original Island... Caveman Island, Carnival Island, uh, Pokemon Center, Scooby-Doo, and S I'm deciding between Pokemon Center and Squidward's Monument. I don't know, it's Squidward's house is pretty cool, like, in Spongebob, but I don't know if it'll look that, like, if the interior will be that cool in, um, yeah, it probably won't, because Spongebob's house wasn't that, uh, detailed. Patrick's Rock, oh, dude, I'm so torn. Okay, so Pokemon Center, I'm trying to think of what it might be. Pokemon Center, um... Uh, I think I'm gonna do Squidward's Monument. Let's do it. Let's see what it is. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be really disappointed if this is like really, really lame. All right, here it is. Okay, it looks, it looks bigger than the pineapple. I'll give you that. It does look bigger than the pineapple. Well, let's see what's in here. Let's, let's hope for. All right, actually, it is bigger than the. Oh, actually, I think. Oh, this is much cooler than the pineapple. I mean, oh well, that's a huge bed. Jeez, like. Three blocks wide. Uh, we, we we might have to make some cha <clears throat> some changes to this floor, but I, I'm actually pretty pretty uh, pretty cool with this. This looks a lot nicer than the SpongeBob house, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, we need to uh, grab our stuff and we need to make uh, a couple or a, a, why did I say a couple? We need to make a cobble generator. So let's go out here and let's figure out. Okay, the the thing about it being bigger, I think we don't have as much room on the sides, so we might have to start out. <clears throat> sorry. Right off the bat, just building out. Well, why is there a hole right there? Am I is 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 Noah trying to kill me by doing that? Okay. Uh, is there anything else in here that we really need? I mean, the farm stuff we can do soon. But the thing is, on the sky block, <clears throat> I really didn't use my sugarcane farm at all. Like once I got spawners, the sugarcane farm was kind of obsolete. Like it didn't make me any money. I wouldn't even harvest the sugarcane. So I don't know. And we also have to figure out how we're going to design this island. Do we just want to have, like, a flat, huge platform and just build whatever we want? 
Um, or do we want to do something like the last island and have like bridges? Although the last island I wasn't too big of a fan of. I wanted to look a little bit nicer. So um, let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone. We'll, actually, we have a better pickaxe in here because from that other kit. So we'll take that, put all this away. We'll grab this other set and put it on for now. And uh, see what we can get done here. All right, so Snorlax. Where's the Snorlax helmet? Snorlax sword. Sorry. And uh, let's take off this trainer gear. Put that on, and we should be good to go. All right, so I got to make sure I don't mess up on this cobble generator, because if you guys know, I'm such a noob when it comes to that stuff, because I messed it up like twice on my other island. So uh, I'm thinking we'll just... Oh, whoa, this pickaxe is a lot faster than I anticipated. Okay, break that, break that, and we'll just make it right up against the island right here. So we'll clear out four spots right there. And, oh my goodness, dude, how did this work again? Um, I think it was like a, it was either, it was it both of these that were empty? Alright, so the lava goes right here, I know that. But, does it go, oh no, I think it goes like this. Oh boy, I don't know. I think we go like that, and I think the water goes like that. Please work. Oh, dang, dude, this is so much faster. I don't know if it's just because there's, like, no one on the server, but look at how fast this is, dude. Like, it regens instantly. Okay, what we need to do, we should have done it against our bedrock right here, now that I think about it. But we need to get, like, a piece of obby so that we don't accidentally break the block behind it. Do we? Can we buy a piece of obby on the shop? Um, no, black wool. Let's see, slash shop. We can always just put a piece of wood behind there. It'd probably work just as well, so... Let's go to blocks, grab some, well, we actually probably have wood from our kit, PV, PV1, well, yeah, we don't need to already be wasting money on the shops, so let's grab that, um, the wood should be fine, I just don't want to accidentally, like, break that sandstone behind there, so we'll just put wood right there, I'm hoping that fire doesn't spread, so I'm hoping, but I just want to sit here and see what we can get from this, like, look at how fast this is going, like I was saying, I don't know if this is just because, like, there's only 22 players on, but this is pretty cool, like, how efficient this is. Because usually, you know, you'll break it, and sometimes it'll, like, lag. And you'll just be sitting there for, like, a couple seconds waiting. But this is quick. Like, you could really grind out some good stuff if you, like, start getting diamonds and stuff. That's pretty awesome. But um, if you guys do want to join the server right now, I'm, like, w like obviously I mentioned earlier with the beta pass. I don't know if after that it's going to be all laggy. I'm hoping it won't. But this, this is pretty cool. So I'm going to definitely be grinding out this cobble generator more than I did on Skyblock. Because on Skyblock... I really just didn't even bother with it. I was just really um, lazy with grinding the cobblestone generator because I really didn't have a point because I already had all those spawners. But um, yeah, we got we got a at least a decent for, so, uh, source of money here. Although is stuff burning? I feel like stuff is burning. Although I might be picking it up. Okay, so we have 14 coal. Let's see next time we break coal if we get it. Um, come on, coal. Give me some coal. Give me... So, why? Okay, there's coal. Okay, yeah, so I think it's working. And this... Oh, this actually has Fortune 3 in it. We only got one diamond, so that kind of sucks. But, anyways, uh, we need to get some sort of spawner going or some sort of way to make money other than this. Like, that's that's basically my main priority for this video. Of course, we have a cobble generator, but I want to get something that we can AFK. And, you know, we could always do a farm, but last season, I don't know, with a farm, I just didn't really like how... Um, I used it for like the first day, and then after that it was just sitting there, just taking up space. So we could do some sort of temporary farm. Um, so we, we have 42k. So we could get a pig spawner. We could almost get... Oh, it looks like they actually made the cow spawners more expensive. Because they were 50k on the regular skyblock. And then iron golem spawners are 1.75 million. And they didn't even sell those on the other skyblock. I don't... Did they sell blazes? I don't think they sold blazes either. So you can buy basically all the spawners. But... Yeah, I'm kind of torn. I don't really know what we should build as far as a revenue source. Um, of course, today is just kind of more like a Skyblock themed stuff. It's more Skyblock themed. But uh, once we do <clears throat> get a good island going, we can start dabbling in that Pokemon stuff. But like I said, I don't really know how it all works, so I'm going to have to learn as we go. But uh, once we get farther through beta, I think we'll have some more, uh, some more information. But... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. Should we just buy a pig spawner? How much does, like, cooked, uh, so, cooked pork chop sells for three. It sells for almost as much as steak. Although the thing is, actually, now that I think about this, the thing that's really cool about pigs is you don't have to deal with the leather. 
You could just sit in farming, and you could just go like this and sell grilled pork instead of having to sell your steak and go back and sell leather. Dude, that actually is a really good selling point. I'm gonna go to. I'm I'm buying a pig spawner right now. Hopefully, they're still like really efficient. But that's actually. I had never really thought about it that way. That's actually pretty interesting. So we're gonna need. Okay, we have seven k left. We're gonna need more than that if we want to build like a decent. Um, oh, no, well, this has. Oh no, this is a pretty good. Yeah, this is a Snorlax sword. So this is almost a max sword. It has sharpness four, looting three, fire aspects. So we could really just let. Uh, lay this down and we could just kill him with the sword so let's get some blocks and just build some sort of temporary thing although we're gonna need some more water did we get any water buckets from any of that no we got an empty bucket though so that'll be good we have two buckets to work with and we can grab this ice and oh wait wait oh crap oh wait no we, we got this we got this that was a bad mistake but it is a it is a correctable mistake we'll take that take this water bucket and now we'll make a ghetto infinite water source in the middle of our living room but it'll still work so it's okay and then we'll fill up this fill up this now we need to go and fill up the cobble generator so we'll have that not worry not to worry about and then we need to go in here and grab the other source and uh can we go ahead and block this up and now we just need to make another infinite water source that's not in the middle of our living room which um i don't think i want to make it in there let's make it out here uh let's just put it with this, oh yeah, we can just go like this. Yeah, this this will look good. So we can go like that, and just stick it right there, and we can just come up here. All right, cool. So grab that. Now we just need to make a, like I said, it's going to be a temporary um, little structure for this pig spawner, and it's not going to look nice. So don't don't be worried when he's when it's super ugly because it's not going to stay. Like I've been saying. Actually, you know what we could do? I never did this on my old island, but we could just go down here and mine all these diamonds. Hopefully I don't fall into the void, but yeah, this is actually, with uh, with Fly, this is really OP, because you can just go down here and mine all your ores and get free money, basically. Um, now, the island level thing is pretty cool. We could get a big head start on this, because if you guys remember when I played Skyblock, when I joined, there was it was already like well into the server. Like our, People were already super OP, but I am getting like a I'm not only starting when the server first comes out, I'm getting like a huge head start. So we're going to have a, we're going to be a contender to be on Island Top, at least for the first week. Um, of course, once other people come in, I won't be playing as much, and other people will be playing a lot. I might fall behind, but I think we could at least be uh, in the top 10 for for uh, the first beta week. I, I, I think we could do it. We can go to spawn. Actually, let's do I... IS top. Um, so the highest level is, we could be on the IS top by just being 61 or higher, which should be pretty easy because on Skyblock we were like a 2000. Like if, if we were um, on the other server we would easily be uh, top on here, but obviously that is uh, on Skyblock where we are super OP and we're not uh, even close to there on here. But now that we got all that stuff, I think I got all the diamonds, that's basically what I was going for. Um, I just want to check. Oh, there's some gold. Let's grab the gold. Why not? And then we'll go ahead and build this pig spawner because I do want to start getting some money and start putting up like you know iron blocks and gold blocks and diamond blocks. So that actually, that actually, now that I think about that, let's just mine the iron. Why not? Let's take it. Um, although the lapis, I don't know. Those, I don't even think lapis does much for your iron level. It might affect it a little bit, but even iron doesn't even help it out that much. Like, I've noticed that I put up iron blocks, and my iron level barely changes. Like, it's it's a minimal difference. Unless you put a lot of iron blocks up, which is a pain, it doesn't really help that much. So, alright, let's let's keep grabbing this. There just keeps to be more iron. It's like it's it's genning in as I, as I fly around here. I just can't even mine all of it. But we'll go stick this in a furnace in there so we can... Uh, get some easy iron blocks to put up on our island because there actually it was furnaces in here which I, I don't know if those came on the spongebob island though that's pretty cool you start with some furnaces let's put that in there put the gold in there and we should be good to go and we actually did get some diamonds from those kits as well so we'll take that and we can go ahead and just um with like half of this we could just make like well let's we should probably t save like a little bit of the diamonds but yeah we can take three three diamond blocks uh let's just put these down like in our on our second story and see how much uh See how much this does for our island level. So let's do that. Slash is level. We're already 51. Like three diamond blocks, and we're already almost on the top 10. So that's pretty hype. We're easily gonna get on the top 10 in this video. Um, this might be a longer video since it's the first one, but I want to get a lot of stuff done. I'm probably gonna do a lot of stuff off camera as well. Let's go ahead and make this uh, little pig grinder. So let's just make a little platform here and. Uh, 
it's, it's gonna be very, very basic, and it's gonna have, like, no rhyme or reason. It's just, it's gonna be a platform with water so that the pigs come to me. But I think we, I don't think we need to make it too big. We'll just make it, uh, and then we'll make it eight blocks so that the pigs go all the way over there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just make it two more so we have some room on the other side. Um, all right, there we go. Oh, okay, good, we have more cobble. I did not want to waste money on cobblestone. That would have been pretty rip, but... I'm gonna go like do something like this and make a little border so the water doesn't go everywhere and we should be good. Well we're gonna need to make a I don't know, we I don't think we'll need to make a roof for this. Um I, I wanna make it easy to take down. Like the reason I'm making it so basic is because I want it to be like easy. Okay, this is gonna give me aids, but we're just gonna have to do this. So the reason is because it's not centered, so I'm, the pig spawner's gonna be like kinda off centered, but whatever. It's gonna be the reason I'm making this so basic and so small and and really conservative is because I don't want to be spending like 20 minutes taking down a spawner because I'm obviously gonna not keep this. So I can start putting down this water over here, and we'll just have it flow to there. Perfect. So we'll actually put a blocker there so they don't. We don't want the pigs to fall off the edge. You know, actually, I don't know if they're gonna. They might go ahead and hop off the edge. So I'm gonna put some fences so they can't do that because I. I don't want these pigs to be getting out of my grasp, so we'll put one right there, and we'll make this fences. It should be fine to there. And let's go grab some wood. Do we have? Yeah, we have. We only have two planks. So we need to go get some more to build uh, fences. Wait, what was it? My TV? Yeah, there we go. 31 logs. That will that will be more than enough to make a few fences. So let's just make these really quick. Grab that. All right. Boom. Um, okay, I was gonna say if I messed up building fences, which I do a lot, because in in the good old days you would just go like this, and you'd have your fences. But now they have to make it all confusing uh, with the crafting recipes, which is really dumb. Like, why do you change crafting recipes for an item that has not changed? But whatever, uh, it it is it, it it doesn't really matter at this point. But all right, so we got that, so the pigs won't be able to get out, and then we just gotta make it so that it's easy to jump in and out of here. Don't want to make it all hard to get into. All right, so that should be good for now. Now we just need to uh, get all the water here. Actually, it's, okay, my fly is on. I don't know why it wasn't working. I guess I just wasn't double tapping well enough. But yeah, we we won't need too much water for this. We'll just, I mean, I want to make it even. I'm not just going to throw random water. I just want to make sure that the I don't have to like jump uh, into the water to get the pigs. They'll just flow right to me. It'll be uh, helpful. So there we go. I think we just need one more, right? Perfect. Okay, so we can even do something like this and make it, uh, let's actually take this, I, oh no, it'll, be a, it'll have to be a block lower, yeah, I want to do this just for convenience sake, so let's go down here, although it needs to be eight blocks, it's gonna, they're gonna all collect right on these two blocks, so it's gonna need to be eight blocks out this way, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right, this is gonna look really, really ugly, and just really dumb, and we're out of cobblestone. Okay, well we can break this at least and finish that side. Although, or the, can we? Wait, was that? Uh, okay, this is this is really annoying. Actually, what am I talking about? We have a cobblestone. We can just sit here and, yeah, duh. That is the whole point of Skyblock. You can get unlimited cobblestone. Like, what am I talking about? Just sit here for a second and pick up some. This is the time when I want to get more cobblestone and like less coal and redstone. Yeah, just give me cobble. That's all I need. Just some simple cobblestone. Okay, thank you. Let's just grab that. That should be good. That should be more than enough. So we can put that right there. Looks ugly as hell, but it's all right. So let's go down here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, okay, we ran out of blocks. We still need more cobblestone, so let's go back over here to the good old cobble generator, which, like I've been saying, I, I'm just praising this cobble generator. It is so nice and smooth. I'm just loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right, do we need, I think we, I think that should be a 13 cobblestone. That should do the trick. If a keyword should, it, it might fail. Why, I was, I meant to break this block, not that one. Okay, put that down. Alright, it looks really ugly, but it will work, and that is the key here. Although, oh, wait, what am I talking- oh yeah, I was thinking that there needs to be uh, that there needs to be lava, but I forgot that my sword has fire off spec, so we're good on that, we're good. Now, wait, why aren't pigs spawning? I just noticed it, why are pigs not spawning? Oh, duh, there needs to be grass, okay, well, let's just make this 
All right, this is this is getting much more complicated than it needs to be. I don't know why I didn't think there has to be grass. I completely forgot about that. Good. Okay, I was gonna say if we need to buy grass, that would not be good because I think it is pretty expensive. So we got some grass out of those kits. Now this is when this is gonna get really ugly because I think how many oh, we don't even have a silk touch, so that thing cannot move. I th <clears throat> how close does it have to be to the grass? Like if I put grass right here. Will pigs spawn on there, or is that too far away? Let's just make a little patch of grass right here and see if it'll work. Although, if it if all comes to worst, I think we sh we can actually put like a piston right here. Um, actually, no, we didn't want to break that. We can put a piston right here. I completely forgot how to make pistons. I think I have the materials I need though. We have wood. Yeah, we might need a little bit more cobblestone. Actually, we don't need more cobblestone. I just want to have extra cobblestone. So let's do that. I think we should still have the craft command. Um, so let's do some craft. And we're going to have to be making some guesses here. I think... I think it's like that. And like that. Oh, no. Then it's like that. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, wait, is it... It's the opposite, I think. I think the cobblestone is down here. And... Oh, wait, is it like that? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, if I had to do that like over and over again... I would have been getting really annoyed. Okay, we can make a lever too, because we're gonna need that. All right, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can actually move a spawner with a piston. If I can't, then this will be a waste of time. <sighs> Wait, does, is that an activated piston? Let me just make sure. Let me make sure that I'm not being a complete redstone noob. Um, wait. Oh well, we just lost we just lost a grass block because we don't have a silk touch. Okay. Let's break that. I'm gonna recreate that. Just make it one block higher, just so I can make sure that I'm I'm not completely messing this up. Because it's just like this, right? You just go like that. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can't. All right. Well, we're wasting so much time. I'm such a noob. You can't. You can't move spawners. And it looks like this grass isn't even close enough. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this really quick. We're gonna figure this out and just just get it done off off camera. All right. So. <laughs> We, we made a little bit of changes. Uh, it's still barely spawning pigs, and I think it might be because there's water. Can there not be water here or something? Because there was pig spawning when I first made it, but now... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think they just... Oh, and entities fall clear. But I think there can't be water there. So, basically, um, we have a pig spawner now, but it's the most ghetto thing you've ever seen in your life. So, the reason I'm not making like a full-blown pig spawner yet is because we only have one spawner, and I didn't want to make it in this video because it would take way too long. So at least we have something to make money because uh, other than that, it's just a cobble generator. And other than uh, this and the cobble generator, we, yeah, like I said, we have no money in source. So income, but money source income. Anyways, um, so there are pigs here, but okay. Oh, I actually got a pig head, but I mean, we got 38 pork chops. So that was like, what? That's going to be like no money. So we sell those, yeah, $133. So that's not going to be making as much head headway, um, but... If we AFK for a little bit and then kill the pigs, you know, we might make a little bit of money. We'll just have to see how it works, but they're gonna, we're going to take out these fences since they're kind of uh, not, don't have a point being here. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this video there. Um, kind of a, all, all, uh, uh, what, like a all over the place video, but I think this series will be pretty fun once I start getting into the Pokemon stuff. It'll probably be a lot more inter interesting. Um, but yeah, we will, uh, g you know, once the updates come out, I'll tell you guys, and um, if you do want to join the server, you can buy a beta pass. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please go down and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.